Hello everyone and welcome back to some brushing off the rust. In our last episode, we got stuck at this bonfire. Um, the glitch, I, I've heard uh, several things about avoiding it. Basically, when you rest at a bonfire, one of the things they say is you wait for the smoke to dissipate and then actually hit the leave button to stand up rather than circle. Um, or... Uh, uh, back, whatever whatever button it is you're pressing for uh, whatever console. But, yeah, so we got stuck at the bonfire. Um, but last episode, we cleared all of Ulysses Township and the dungeon. We have Manus unlocked, and it's time to go fight both him and Calamite. That is the goal for this episode. So, let's get on with it. Hmm. Man, I keep seeing those dips in video quality, and it <clears throat> it's really driving me nuts. Like, it, it's got to be my internet service provider. Um, the, the internet they're providing is really, really fast, but it's just not stable enough, I guess, to maintain what it is I'm trying to do. I don't know. It's, it's really agitating. And I would like to see it change. But I don't know if it will. Okay. Green Titanite Shard. So Sif was behind Manus and to the left of him. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to make that work. Oh man, that's cool. You can see Manus. Oh, that's right. There is there is that glitch. There is a glitch. Uh, apparently, you can cheese Manus. Um, I'm not going to do it. Um, I might hit him with one, but I think with the uh, the like dragon great bow or something. With the dragon great bow and the hawk ring, I believe you can kill Manus from up here. Um, but that's really cool that you can see him from down there. I, I had totally forgotten about that. Alright, let's go. Oh, man. My, my timings for him are all off. Oh, come on. I'm not even going to be able to survive one hit, or I mean, oh, there's, okay, so I see Sif. He just appeared. I'm waiting for Sif to show up so I can start. Oh, boy. Come on, go look at the puppy, not me. Come on. I know you want to. Stop. There we go. Boom. Okay, so we are hurting Manus. That is for sure. Oh, God. Nope. I, I refuse to die from that. No, stop hurting my dog. You hurt my dog, I shoot you in the face with an arrow. Yeah, that's right. Get good, Manus. Oh, God. Oh, I didn't time the roll right. Oh, but I'm dead. Yeah, the power within killed me. Damn it. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Okay, okay, well, maybe... Maybe not power within? I don't know. Um, we'll try it. We'll, we'll try without power within. If we need the power boost, we'll uh, let... We'll let 
uh, Sif take a couple hits for us, but we need to be able to kill him fast enough that Sif doesn't die. But if that uh, that HP sap is going to be too much for us to handle in that fight, then mm, maybe not. I need to just double tap this damn thing when I <laughs> platform off of it because I'm probably going to die. And it's dark. I'm scared. Okay, go ahead. All of the uh, prism stone stones right there were red. And I just noticed that, that the prisms, prism stones change color every time you come through here. That's that's a pretty interesting detail that I hadn't noticed. Every time I play this game, there's always a little something that I hadn't noticed prior that shows up. And it's just really cool. Like, I've, I've always loved that about this game. There's always something more. Alright, let's let's go. It's, it's, it's go time. No. Ha! Yeah, okay, that, that that will be enough damage. That'll be enough damage for sure. Where's Sif? I know he's right around here somewhere. There he is. Okay, cool. Why is that rock stacked on top of that other rock? Like, somebody's been down here just like, yeah, no, I'm going to stack some rocks, hang out with Manus. It's going to be a good time. We're going to, you know, have a couple beers, just chill. It's, it's going to be a party. No, Manus. Stop being an ass. Ow, I thought I rolled it. Alright, cool. Let's heal up. Okay. Or we can just die. Nope. Could you not? Could you go attack Sif or something? I mean, like, I don't want you killing Sif, but, like, go focus on him so I can arrow the hell out of you. Woohoo! Alright, it's where he's starting to use that magic. I do believe in his magic, and it's going to kick my ass. Okay, come on. I'm starting to remember him. Starting to remember those roll times. Nope, nope, you get out of here with that. No, you, you, you don't. That garbage I am not about. Ooh, 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 ooh. I survived that just barely. Come on, I gotta heal up, gotta heal up, gotta get... There you go. Yeah, go attack Sif once or twice. He can he can take a couple hits. I mean, he's not, like, uh, you know, a baby. Well, I mean, I guess he is technically baby Sif. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Oh, I never get that roll time right. Okay. Okay, we're, we're getting there. We're almost. Nope, nope, nope. Back it away. I'm a little close. I don't like that. And that's the game. Archering Manus. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alrighty, so Sif was alive, so check this out. Sif's just going to go be a badass. Ten humanities if you beat Manus with him being alive. 
<coughs> yeah, damn it, I think I am getting sick. Okay, so we're just going to leave Dusk on the floor because <laughs> reasons. I've always wondered about that. You, j you don't do anything. She doesn't leave. She's just on the floor. And then you walk to the bonfire and warp out. So we're going to go right into... Let's see. Ulysseal Township. We have to go disturb Calamite. We theoretically could fight Calamite with this build. Without the giant's help. <laughs> mm. We theoretically could do that. Because we are a range build. But it's insanely difficult. And I've only ever done it once, and it was with a strength build with the Dragon Slayer bow, and it took me a friggin' hour. So, I'm not gonna do that. Um, actually, we have a Homeward Bone. What we are gonna do <coughs> is we're gonna go into that boss room, we're gonna sneak around, and I'm gonna show you how to get the Titanite Slab out of that room without getting Calamite without having to beat Calamite first or start anything special. You can go get that without aggroing basically anything in the Calamite fight. So we're going to do that, warp out, and then we'll go talk to Go, Goff, whatever. Uh, no, we've, we've already done that. We, we, don't need, we don't need to go over there. Oh yeah, these guys take two, I forgot. Okay. You, you want some flame spear sword thing? Here, I'll give you some flame spear sword thing. Nope. 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 Alright, moss dog, get over here. Okay, I fall through the floor. Cool. You do you. <clears throat> oh, wait. So I'm going to end up, okay, we're going to end up having to warp. I just realized I didn't rest at Ulysseal Township. We're going to end up warping all the way down to, uh, yeah, okay, so here's Calamite. He's going to go be a badass over there. I'm going to drop down onto this Crystal Lizard. Oh, and actually, he's just going to sit there and take it. Cool. Twinkling, we needed that, I'm sure, for something. Okay, so what we do is we hug the wall. You don't do anything but hug the wall. And you can make it all the way around here without pissing off Calamite. As long as you stay on the absolute far edges of this, you can get over to this chest and Calamite won't show up. He won't come kill you. Or at least I think he will, but it will be right about the same time where you're leaving with your homeward bone. Um, it should give us enough time to come open this chest, grab Titanite Slab. Yeah, so see, Calamite's not here. We can go ahead. He shows up right about that point. And then, now we're down here. Woo! All right, let's 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 warp up to uh, Township real quick. We'll spend our souls before we go fight Calamite, of course. But uh, now we can get Hawkeye to... Uh, go ahead and bring Calamite down for a, a little bit more of a fair fight. You're one of my favorite characters. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um, we're going to go ahead and buy the carvings because we can. Us discounted, I believe, uh, large Titanite shards. I believe they are discounted here. Um, the only other place I can think of is the merchant in Sin's Fortress, and I think he sells them for 4,000. I think they go, but I think they're discounted here for 3,800. And... 
Okay, so... Yes! Good, good. What is bravery without a dash of recklessness? God, I love this character. I've taken a liking to thee, and I owe thee much for thy service to Artorius. Now, walk, and see how Goth hunts dragons. Oh, man. Man, it's such a cool shot. <laughs> yes. Uh, all right, let's go take down Calamite. And my only criticism with that is a truer shot would have been if you had just like headshot, but I scope shots with him because he literally can't see. So <laughs> anyway, let's let's go attempt Calamite. Um, yeah, we're just, you know what, we did, we did Manus with a bow, we're gonna do Calamite with a bow, and that's, that's how I'm gonna make this episode. Uh, Manus and Calamite take down with the composite bow. It's, alright, this is, this is gonna be pretty good. Now, I, I have done all this before. I have beaten the game with this build. Uh, this used to be one of my favorite builds to shake up the formula. <clears throat> one of the more consistent builds I would do for just, you know, warm-ups and playthroughs is a knight setup where I basically played the Elite Knight Armor, uh, Longsword, a Grass Crest Shield, or whatever other, you know, Knight-type shield I was feeling, and a, uh, um, a Longbow, just a standard Longbow. Kind of, kind of cosplaying as a standard Knight-esque kind of, uh, build. Um, I figured a Knight would be capable of using a standard bow, a Longsword, and a standard shield, so... And that's that's how I used to uh that's how I used to play for warm ups and that kind of stuff. But I started getting a little bored because that build can actually become really really powerful, especially if you start leveling up the uh, elite knight set. Um, you become insanely tanky, buying full set of elite knight armor, um, and uh, the long sword can surprisingly do quite a bit of damage um, along with the longbow. So you're looking at, you know, medium damage output with really high defense, and if you're a pretty decent Souls player and know how to dodge, you can pretty comfortably beat the game, and so I, I moved to this. It's kind of a variant of that, um, but it, it I basically had come up with this, this build after playing Bloodborne, and I was thinking, how, how can I kind of design a Bloodborne-type uh, setup? And this is what I came up with. So, all right, Calamite. I'm not going for the tail cut. I am going just a bow completion. Oh, this is gonna take me some time. I forgot. I need to hit triangle before I, I, daw or shield. Whoa, I have never seen him go from that move into that one before. That's new. Hey, buddy, are you, are, is your targeting off? Like, is something wrong? No, his targeting ain't off. He knows where I'm at. Oof. Oh no, oh no. 
<laughs> Shoot you in the eye. Your one eye. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh. I rolled the wrong direction. Damn, that was that was all my bad. I, I should have been able to avoid that from like a mile away. Ah, oh well. Really? I really do not have enough Estus to be messing with you guys and... Okay, so I can three-shot those guys. Without two-handing, so I'm just gonna keep the shield up. Boom, boom. No! Really? Really? Okay, well... One of those must have uh, been an attack of opportunity prior. All right, Calamy, let's go. Let's let's finish this. Me and my little composite bow are gonna go bring down a dragon. Yeah, I figured you were gonna attack first. But I got in the first hit. Too close for comfort there, buddy. Yeah, see, I don't know what that's about. Because I know his targeting's not off. He sees me. Do I have him in a loop? Nope. Guess not. Hmm. With a wide fire blast? Yeah. Come on, big guy. Woohoo! Yeah, let's switch up the let's switch up the directions here. Come on. Uh, 
Ho-ho-ho! Well, I was going for a no-hit completion, but maybe next time. One of the few things I think I'm uh, not quite too rusty on, I still know Calamite's moveset really well. Um, I spent so many, 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 many hours fighting this guy that uh, I, I don't think I'm ever going to forget his movesets. I even have the distance of his fire timed pretty well. And... Done. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I was hit once. I tried to go for a no-hit completion, but uh, I'd say we have Calamite down pretty well. Um, we're going to go ahead and gather up these couple little things on the ground around here. And we will end the episode at the bonfire. Um, was there... There's something else down here. Yeah, I think it's some... Uh, uh, some of Goff's arrows. But yeah, no. Alright, cool. Pretty pretty solid completion on... Uh, pretty solid completion on Calamite. It's a lot of fun fighting him. I just have a blast. Uh, especially when it's up close, sword and shield. You're underneath him. You're dodging the grab he has and all the, you know, the me close melee attacks. It's it's a lot of fun. Um, one of one of the best bosses, and I think one of the best environments in uh, in Dark Souls for pretty much the whole series. I, I just I really enjoyed it. It's not like a gimmick fight with Dark Souls 2's Ancient Dragon. Um, Sin tried way too hard to be Calamite, and they just they added to Sin. Um, in Dark Souls 2's uh, DLC, they just added really gimmicky, like, abilities, like, his skin is corrosive, so your swords deteriorate twice as fast, and he is resistant to everything, and just a whole bunch of really stupid. Um, I did not enjoy that. However, uh, Dark Souls 3, Dark Souls 3's most recent DLC has a dragon in it that is very very much worthy and you know i don't even know why i'm walking let's go back very worthy of one of the best uh souls bloodborne one of the best boss fights in the series and i think it's what what is it the obsidian dragon or whatever it's oh man that that was one hell of a fight and it took me and uh graze he was actually the first person that uh came with me on that fight took us a very long time to bring him down so anyway guys we're going to go ahead and end it here. I've had a blast. Uh, the, the two bosses for this episode were great. Um, yeah, this was just a really fun episode. Next time, I think we're going to probably take down the Dukes. Our, uh, go on to uh, fight. Ooh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go kill Gwendolyn and Sif. Because those are two side bosses we need to do. Maybe we'll do the Painted World Gwendolyn and Sif. Um, all three in the next episode, but we'll, we'll see. Um, still a lot of stuff we got to wrap up before we finish up with the Lord Souls and, uh, take down Gwyn. But anyway, guys, um, I hope you guys have been having as much fun as I have, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. <laughs>